As we get closer to ringing in the new year here in Ohio, we want to show you some celebrations from across the globe. In Auckland, New Zealand, thousands of people came together to watch the fireworks display. Crowds were allowed to gather in the city to mark the occasion as the country continued to record a low number of new coronavirus cases. The same, though, could not be said for Sydney, Australia, where revelers were only allowed to watch the fireworks from downtown under certain circumstances. Police fenced off popular locations along Sydney's harbor and closed popular parks and encouraged everyone to watch the display from home on TV. And people gathered in Madrid, Spain, as musical performers wore masks throughout their songs. However, no one was allowed in one of the city's most popular squares to discourage too many people from getting together all at once. And that will be the case for the annual ball drop in New York City's Times Square as well. This is a live look from there where you can see there is not the normal crowd of people that we're used to seeing. Organizers there only allowing heroes of the pandemic like healthcare workers to attend in person. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with meteorologist Dante Jones. So much has been different in 2020, yeah. and you really see it when you look at a pretty much empty Times Square on New Year's Eve. I mean, remember when the, the whole world was quarantining earlier in the year, and we were talking about animals are roaming the streets, and the air is cleaner, and all that, and the yeah. streets were just empty? That's just indicative of 2020. Everybody's just empty. It's crazy. The world. Wow. Yeah. All right, well, good riddance, 2020. Goodbye. See, see you later. <laughs> all right, outside so far, although 2021. Woo, weather-wise, it's going to come in like a lion. We've already got to deal with some wintry precip first thing in the morning, and it's getting started early, too. We're talking 4 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, uh, winter weather advisory going into effect at least until 1 o'clock in the afternoon until we can warm up temperatures enough to get the wintry weather out of here. Here's the big storm system. There's the area we're really concerned about. That's a wintry mix and some freezing rain. And of course, freezing rain is the most dangerous part of wintry precipitation. What I was going to show you here was a live camera of Beaver Creek, of the uh, of the uh, catering, actually, of the big uh, expressways and what have you, but our camera just switched on me at the last minute. That's okay, though. It's dark out, and it's dry, and it's chilly. Temperatures in the 20s so far. 27 up in the Belfont, 26 in Dayton. 31, though, in Wilmington. Winds uh, coming in out of the north and out of the east. A stiff breeze. 10 to 15 to 17, 19 miles an hour into Richmond and over into Liberty. So it is going to be on the chilly side as we take you through the overnight. But, but, the temperatures are going to be rising. So we're reaching our low right about now. And so those temperatures rising, look by 8 a.m., we're right at 32. And so that's the reason we're going to get that freezing rain, because that warmer push of air is uh, just above us here in the uh, in the atmosphere. And right where we are, the ground is still cold. So as the uh, precipitation falls through, it's warm enough, and then it gets right where we are, then it freezes again because the air is cold. And so that's why we'll have some freezing rain uh, tomorrow. And then we'll warm up to the upper 40s by about this time tomorrow night. That'll be our high temperature for tomorrow, 48, so the afternoon will spend much of the time in the lower to mid 40s. All right, as we go through the overnight, we increase the cloud cover, and there we are, 7 a.m. That's the problem right there. We got all that wintry uh, precip as well as some light amounts of freezing rain to make the roadways, sidewalks slippery. Here's 9.30 in the morning. It's moving northward, transitioning to rain as the temperatures warm up. By noontime, 12.30, most of us seeing a cold rain. Southern uh, or northern portions of Auglaize and Mercer County still getting in on that uh, freezing rain and wintry precip. And then it becomes more scattered shower activity as we go throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours. Then we're dry for Saturday, and then Saturday night, we get another system that comes in and gives us some rain. So we could see about uh, near an inch of rain for us tomorrow. So that could create some ponding on the roadway. So it could be a real gully washer. And it's really windy too tomorrow. So dry and chilly and cloudy right now. Temperatures in the upper 20s to right about 30 by the time New Year comes in. Wintry mix and freezing rain first thing in the morning. Uh, New Year's afternoon, uh, we deal with gusty winds and heavy rainfall about an inch. And the temperature's warming into the 40s. So again, icy roads tomorrow morning. Morning, a wintry mix again with some freezing rain temperatures in the lower 30s. There's that five day forecast where we keep the temperatures on the milder side. Uh, upper 40s for us on Saturday, dry, lower 40s for us on Sunday, a morning shower, dry for the afternoon. Temperatures in the mid 40s with some sunshine as we go into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Not a snow lover's delight going into 2021. Sorry, are you winter weather lovers? <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll take those warmer temperatures. Me Thanks, too. Dante.
With the pandemic shutting down bars and breweries across the country, some small beer makers are having a hard time getting their beer on store.